Hello, gents. You know, one thing that I believe we can all agree on is that we are on the verge of an apocalypse. Most likely a zombie-themed apocalypse. Okay, that probably isn't going to happen. But there are some things that are fairly likely to happen that you want to be prepared for. It is There are plenty of scenarios that are not too far-fetched where some of the stuff that we take for granted could disappear on us. Our electricity, clean water, a ready food supply, all that stuff that we rely on every day, it could go away. In that situation, the people who have learned how to survive and the people who have prepared for it will live. And the people who rely on those conveniences to live are probably going to die. Luckily for you and I, there is a resource available. Lots of resources, really. But I want to talk about a resource named Creek Stewart. Creek Stewart is the Chuck Norris of survival. I really like this guy. He's written a lot of books. He's been on television a lot. He has a survival school. Uh, and he also provides a bi-monthly subscription-based box of survival gear and skills that he can send out um, that I really like. It's called a pocket box. I have been getting the Apaka box now for about a little over two years. I really like it. It's like Christmas every other month. Costs 50 bucks plus shipping, so something like 57 bucks every other month uh, for you to receive your Apaka box. And I want to show you today some of the things that have been in past Apaka boxes. Now my intent is not to show you everything. Um, my gear is scattered. It's not all in one place. I use it. I practice with it, but I've gathered a bunch of it up here today to kind of show you a taste of what you could get in a pocket box uh, should you choose to take advantage of this. Uh, one of the very first things I did is I created a bug out bag. A bag of stuff where I could just take this bag and go if I needed to. Almost everything in here came out of an a pocket box. You've got this cool handkerchief with printed instructions on it how to create a deadfall trap to get small game. Some paracord. This is glow-in-the-dark paracord. Survival candle. A little notebook and pencil. An awl for stitching. Another handkerchief with some, whew, with some uh, water purification liquid in there. Really sweet knife. I love this knife. And the kit that this knife came with taught you how to make a sheath for it out of a seat belt. Really cool sheath. Some mutton tallow, whetstone, instant bow string for making your own bow and arrow. First aid tape, some lights, lots of little stuff. In addition to that, in my bug out bag, A hand reel for fishing. You got a paracord bracelet kit where you can make your own paracord bracelet that's got a whistle on it, some flint and steel, a little knife all attached. Very handy. You've got a bird snare. This kit teaches you how to make a trap that'll catch birds that you can eat. This is a beaver tooth chisel. It's a woodworking tool. Very handy for uh, constructing things that could come in handy. This is an atlatl kit. If you don't know what an atlatl is, it's a weapon that was used by uh, native Indians that throw darts. To It's kind of like a bow and arrow, but without the bow. I've actually used one before. It's really cool. Got this trap. This is a, it's like a mouse trap idea, but it's more of a net trap used to catch rodents. I don't know, birds. Cordage kit. This teaches you how to make your own rope. Got this cool American flag tin with a spork, a fold up spork inside. Figure four deadfall trap. This is a trap that you can use to catch small game. A splint 
case you get a broken bone or someone else gets a broken bone. This is a, another handkerchief kit. Teaches you all the different things that you can do with a big handkerchief. It's really cool. I didn't know how many things you could do with a handkerchief. Uh, sling, made of para paracord. A kit that teaches you how to carve your own spoon with a curved knife. This is a really cool tool. Got a fold up saw. A head scarf. Another woodworking tool. This is used to make your own bow. Very awesome tool. I love these woodworking tools. A horn. Uh, this is actually kind of funny, but this horn can be used to just make a loud noise if you need to get someone's attention. And that's pretty much most of what's in my bug out bag. Now I'm going to move on and show you some other things that are in some of these boxes. Okay, a couple of things that are in some of these kits. This one contains the Siberian Deadfall kit for making another trap to catch wild game with. Some needles, some thread, a gill net that can be used to catch fish. It also taught this kit taught you how to make your own gill net, gave you a needle you needed to use. This is a gill net that my wife actually made using the instructions from this kit. Survival tarp. This one actually came with, there was a stocking cap in there also that I remember. And there is this hatchet. This is a very cool hatchet, very sharp, very handy. I love this hatchet. Next up, a lot of these boxes have themes. The theme of this one was a nomad. Um, got a book of lists to show you everything that you could ever need to know, where to find just about anything you need to survive. Some water purifier. A resin kit for making your own resin for tools. There was some... Uh, some coffee, some tree-lined coffee if you're into coffee. Some uh, spices for making your food taste better that you get. A little signaling mirror. No, this ain't a signaling mirror. This is a magnifying lens for starting a fire with. A tarp kit that teaches you all the different ways to make a shelter out of a tarp. This one was really awesome. This is in this was the blackout box, and it had an urban theme. If you find yourself in a city situation when you need to survive, like you're in a city and the electricity goes out and it's going to stay out, for example, has this very cool tool. Handle is made out of a whiskey barrel. It's a chisel, but you can also rotate it and make it into a hatchet. Very neat. Love this tool. An urban survival kit. Lots of little cool things in here. Um, I won't show you all of them. There's a trap. There's some cord. There's this cool knuck, uh, brass knuckles but that's really made for holding your paracord. And I like this little weapon. This is a crow's head weapon. It's kind of like brass knuckles, but you knock someone in the head with this. They're going to be sorry. Had a neat flashlight in here. Some zip tie cuffs. This actually goes in my bug out bag. This box was a fire themed box. All different ways to make fire. This was one of my favorite boxes because I love learning new ways to make fire. Uh, Creek Stewart taught how to make a fire using a candom and I actually made a video of that. I'll put a link in the description. Made a video a little while back showing you how to do that. Really cool. Um, I have all my fire stuff actually between these two boxes. A lens for uh, using the sun to make a fire. Fire scratcher, which is super handy. It's got a straw for blowing on a fire. 
I've used it a few times, as you can see I really like it. Flint and steel kit. Very cool flint or very steel and some flint. I really love this barrel rod with steel. It's got a really cool whiskey barrel handle. It's got a piece of steel right here that fits in the handle. I've used this quite a bit. I've started a lot of fires with this actually. It's my favorite way to start a fire. A kit for making fire using a bow. It's uh, the idea of rubbing sticks together to make fire, but actually doing it the right way with a bow. It's got the bits, the, or the, the fire chucks, I mean, that you'll need to make a fire that way. I've got this little kit that came in a, a pocket box with lots of different tinders inside. Char balls. I built a fire piston kit. You ever seen a fire piston kit? This was the fire piston that I built from here. A whole bunch of other little stuff, some more kinds of tinder, um, milkweed ovums for starting fires. I find, like I said, the fire starting one of my favorite things. I know lots of ways to start fires now, and it's because of a pocket box. This one was a foraging theme. How to forage for things you need. It has this really cool satchel. And inside, you've got a fruit and nut grapple for pulling fruits and nuts down. You can also use it to skin animals. There's a kit that teaches you how to make a bone fish hook. This is just kind of fun. These are chips, um, tortilla cricket chips. There's crickets in there. Um, a book for identifying survival trees. Another one, tree finder book. Teaches you all the different kinds of trees that can help you survive. A sprout kit for starting yourself a little garden. Another tree identifier book, very cool. And I really like this. This is like a mix between a trowel and a knife. It's got a sharp edge there. It's got a saw edge there. And it is a, a trowel also. Very neat. And last of all, I will show you, this is actually the most recent box. This just came out a month ago. This was a hydro theme. Lots of water type stuff. Uh, minnow trap. You unfold this, put it out in the stream. It'll catch you minnows that you can use for bait to catch bigger fish. Uh, water collection, a, a tarp drain water collection kit. Teaches you how to lay out a tarp in just the right fashion to collect rainwater. A splayed for catching uh, fish or frogs. You put this on the end of a pole and you've got like a spear. A fillet knife that folds up. This is a very high quality fillet knife, by the way. And I like how you can fold it up. Wilderness survival drinks. This teaches you how to find which trees you can make cold drinks, hot drinks with, um, all kinds of different cool. I, I liked uh, the bull thistle, how to drink water out of a bull thistle. Very cool information. So beeswax for leather conditioning. A uh, raft survival knife. This knife floats. The end is not sharp, so you can't puncture your life raft. But this part is sharp for cutting ropes and such. Some dry bags for putting things in to keep them dry when you're hiking, whatever. One other thing that I didn't mention yet is every one of these kits 
has a skills challenge. He teaches you something really awesome. You gotta dedicate a little bit of time to learn it, but you're so, you feel so good when you learn it. I've done most of the skills challenges and there's videos that he puts out to go along with them to teach you those things. So anyway, I've shown you a whole lot of stuff very quickly. I didn't get into any detail on hardly any of it, but I hope that gave you an idea of what's available. I highly recommend a pocket box, not only because it's fun and awesome and affordable, but because it's going to teach you the stuff that you might need to survive. You know, really, when it comes down to it, survival is simple. Just don't die. I will see you soon, gents.